Hi, I'm Jason Dane with News at Cisco and with me is Dr. John Barons of the Cisco Networking Academy. Dr. Barons, could I first of all ask you, what is the Cisco Networking Academy? Could you give us a bit of a detail on that? Yeah, the Cisco Networking Academy is a public-private partnership between Cisco and educational institutions around the world aimed at helping students learn about networking and helping it become a profession or an interest and background. We provide online curriculum, online assessment, uh, technical support in areas where there's uh, no technical um, support available, and ongoing support to help schools around the world uh, teach their students. Why is the Cisco Networking Academy important? I think the academy program is important for uh, a number of reasons. The first reason is it helps students have an opportunity around the world that they wouldn't have otherwise. You have to imagine the program is in 167 countries. So we're in many countries where Cisco has no sales force and no other presence. Uh, struggling countries that are underdeveloped in many ways. So we, uh, right now we have 700,000 students around the world involved in the program. Second, I think it's an example of the kind of uh, public-private partnership that Cisco is very good at providing a corporate social responsibility uh, perspective mixed with technology. Uh, the third reason is we, I think the third aspect is that we provide um, an example of what you can do with technology and how you can change the world. And is it still relevant now that we're in a deep economic crisis? Yes, actually I think it's more important in times of recession because what the academy program is about helping educational institutions provide opportunities to students that they wouldn't have otherwise. And in times of recession, it's most important that students retool and get the skills that they need to be properly positioned uh, to uh, execute when they come out of the recession in the same way that we want Cisco to be positioned. Are there differences between emerging markets and developed countries in terms of the value of the Networking Academy? It varies by theater uh, or region uh, of the world. In developing countries, we partner with uh, well-established institutions to uh, provide Cisco standard uh, material and um, to have a sense of belonging in a Cisco community. Uh, in emerging countries, we provide uh, additional importance in terms of providing opportunities perhaps that might not exist otherwise. The other thing that's important to remember is that even in developed countries, the Networking Academy is implemented in places such as prisons, halfway houses, uh, homeless centers, uh, places that are not going to otherwise have an infrastructure to teach networking to uh, underserved populations. So how is the Networking Academy program evolving to keep track of changes in technology? In several ways. Uh, we have a core curriculum that provides an online experience that uses modern e-learning technologies, but we also have a number of tools that help students explore networking concepts and to uh, obtain networking experience. Um, inside the classroom, all students uh, in the networking academies have hands-on racks with hands-on labs throughout the curriculum. But we also have a tool called Packet Tracer that provides hands-on simulation of complex networks. They're allowed to design networks, explore networks, experiment with networks. And it also provides a rich visualization in interface. So we're very excited about this tool because it provides advances in educational assessment, educational simulation, and educational visualization. Dr. John Barron, Cisco Networking Academy, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.